House looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a little rough around the edges. The driveway's cracked. We got a lot of stuff going on over here in the yard. Yeah, but that's just weeds. Look at the stucco's good. The roof is good. Huh? Even the rain gutters are new. Looks like they did some work. You're very optimistic. I am. Maybe the inside's uh, nicer. <laughs> What's it stuck on? I can't tell. It's not our house, so I can't kick it down. Does somebody live here? No, the owner said it's empty. All right, I'm gonna go check out the back. Be careful. Oh, crap. What's wrong? The slider's completely shattered. It's completely the broken. Someone shattered? broke it. Yeah, just stay outside. Hello? Is it safe? Dude, there's glass everywhere. Someone broke in. Is anyone in there? I don't see anyone. Let me check the bedroom windows. Just stay outside. What's going on, Christina? Hey, how's it going? You scared me. Where's Tark? Bedroom's empty. OK, so there's something wrong with the door. It's barricaded shut, and then Tark went around back, and he told me there's a slider that's totally shattered back there. So really? looks like we may have a break-in or something. Wow. It's either been vandalized, kids, or squatters. Is it safe for everybody to come in? Welcome home. Watch your, watch your feet first. This is a huge mess. It's a disaster. All right, so we've got a little bit of cleanup, but outside of that, house ain't bad. Yeah. You know, you walk in, it's totally open. There's a lot of homeowner special work going on, so oh, yeah. you have no transitions. How about this wall right here? This is what's kind of separating the kitchen. It's really funky. Oh, it's this like little pony, pony wall? Yeah. Oh, we can get rid of that. That's yeah. easy. So we'll do cabinets, counters, backsplash, and flooring. Right. What do you think we're looking at here? It's a big kitchen. You guys are probably looking about 9,000. About 9,000? Yeah. So obviously new sliders and windows, about five grand. It's a four bedroom, two bath. This house is only 1,200 square feet. So with four bedrooms and two bathrooms, it feels really small. All right, here's bathroom one. Oh, it's tiny. Such a small shower. Wow. I wonder what's on the other side of this thing. It would be awesome to make the shower bigger. Well, let me check real quick. That's a tiny bathroom. It's two bathrooms? Yeah. So you have a closet back there that we might be able to knock into. OK, so if we kept it existing, what do you think the remodel would be? Well, obviously not fiberglass. We would tile it. Yeah, the way it is right now, maybe 6,000. OK, what if we open this up to make the shower bigger? It's not bearing, so another 1,000. We should absolutely do it. If we can make a full bathroom, then that's a big plus. Look how yeah. small the bedrooms yeah. are, too. Bedroom one, bedroom two. All right, we have the second bathroom. And we have great news. Oh, much bigger bathroom. Yeah, look it. We can close that door off, and we have a door right here. Oh, that's such great news. What do you think in total budget? I think on this house, you guys are looking right around 70. It's more than I thought. Let me, I'm going to call the owner, see if we can get an offer going. I'll give you All a call. Right. Cool. All right, Bye. buddy. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Have a good day. Take Bye. care. After some negotiations, we finally got the house for $442,500. Today is day one of this flip, and it's time to get started. Oh my gosh, it looks so much better. All right, I think we're good on demo. What do you guys, oh. Ow, oh my god. Did it go all the way through? Yep. Poked a little bit, but not too bad. Did good thing you're shot? not wearing the flip flops anymore. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, I'm fine. That's really scary. Okay. We're almost done demoing here. It looks better. Okay, everything looks a lot better, but a few things. One, can we get rid of this wall? Should be able to. What do you think that's going to run? A few hundred. All right, let's do it for a few hundred. All right. OK, how about this post? Definitely not, because okay. this post is carrying the load of this beam up here. OK. Can we raise up the ceiling in here? That would look Should so much better. Should be able to. Well, let me ask you, how much do you think it would cost to do that? Maybe six or 700. I mean, if it's six or 700, yeah, we can do that. I think once that's gone, and this wall's gone, it'll be a lot more open. Hi, Jeff. What's up, you guys? Oh my gosh, what a difference. Wow, look at the ceilings raised now. It's so open in here, it feels like a totally different house. Let's talk kitchen design. So here's some of the samples. Why don't we start with backsplash? I was really, really, really liking this one. I like that it has more of the beiges and browns in it, and I like the diamond shape. Okay, so this is good for a backsplash, so. There's just one thing about this backsplash. <laughs> How much? $21 a square foot. Oh, come on. Well, you've only got 
about 30 square feet of backsplash here. So 600 bucks plus tax. That's not too bad. Right. So if we're gonna do that, we gotta think about cabinets. Since we're going with these two colors. I feel like the white makes it pop and because it's so expensive, we should probably make it pop. Yeah, okay, so this one right here would look best with that color combo. Okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, so flooring. So this is the, the bulk of the house. Right off the bat, I don't like this one. Loving this one. And plus we kind of need a little bit of more darker color to kind of balance with the white cabinets. So it's actually a good combination. We're gonna have the darks and the lights. I mean, obviously we're gonna be spending a couple hundred dollars more for this, but I think in this price point, that if we do the little details, we'll actually sell for a lot more money. So this will be a nice looking house. Very nice. Hey boys. Hey. What's up? Counter looks good. Kitchen looks a little small though. I realized something. Come here real quick. From here, we have all this open space. So instead of the small curved end piece, what if we just came out with a straight peninsula here? Maybe come out to right here or something. I love that idea. So would we still do cabinets on this side? Yeah, so with the idea here, we could do pantry, lowers, countertop, shelves. How much do you think? Probably about 3,200. Wow. Imagine how much bigger the kitchen's gonna look. Right now you walk in, it looks a little closed off. Once everything's open, it looks so much better. Yeah, let's do that. So I found this material. It's basically a wood paneling that's on a sticker. I think this on this wall is an accent. It would look amazing. Or we could do a dark one that kind of played up the floor. So honestly, I'm really feeling this one. Yeah, that's really cool. I think it'd also be really cool to do the back side of the island and the front side. That way when you walk in, you kind of see it wrapping around. All right. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. The only thing is it's not cheap. Almost 1200 Hopefully Tark likes it. If he doesn't, I'm blaming you. So just guys came in, they cleared up the front and still looks like crap. Yeah, no bueno. Well, I mean, there's like a hodgepodge of materials mixed with nasty concrete. Oh, the driveway. I really didn't even think about the driveway. We're gonna have to put a new driveway in. Yeah. And I didn't have Jeff put that in the bed. Well, that's a pricey mistake. So the plan would be new driveway, grass, mulch, flowers. But the truth is the outside of the house, it's, it's pretty darn boring. What do you think about adding a material that just runs below all the windows, whether it's a reclaimed wood or some type of stone? We can actually spend the money to do that if we're able to keep this paint color. I do like the color. If we can find a material that's affordable, it'll look good. Okay. Wow. Wow is right. Wow, this house looks like this. The staging looks killer. Oh my God, this house made it so far. Remember day one? Broken slider, remember that weird pony wall? You had different heights on the ceilings. This house is actually like really cool. You know what, I love the wall. It's the best part of the house. First thing I noticed, and I just realized something, it was added on the island too. Yeah. Best thing we did though, was expand this counter. And my favorite part of this area is this. Yeah, it looks so nice. Gosh, it's come a long way. Bathroom. Looks nice. Oh my gosh. So much more functional now. And then the master, there used to be a second door, right? Right. We created a private bathroom. Very nice. The design turned awesome. It's actually a pretty big bathroom. Yeah, it's a great house. And I love the way these three other bedrooms turned out. I think buyers are going to love having this much room in a 1,250 square foot house. Wow, this house came out so good. Hi guys, come on in. Hi. All right, well thanks for coming by. I'll tell you a little bit about the house. It's a four bedroom, two bath, 1250 square feet. And we're listed at 599, so please take a look around and let us know what you think. Thank you. Wow, I really like this backsplash. It's so pretty. I'm loving it. And then the kitchen, you, you're not separate from everybody else, the party. I like that. It's a nice master. Oh, it's a master. I really like that it has its own bathroom and shower. This is a nice size yard. I get practice my gymnastics on here. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a good place a... for you to practice. I know, right? All right, so what do you guys think? We haven't seen anything as nice as this. Yeah, it's really nice. I love that accent wall. It's my favorite part. Yeah, it was my idea. 
Was it? No, it wasn't mine. <laughs> the tile that's in the master bathroom. I've never seen a tile like that. It's pretty. How'd you like that? What'd you guys like? Well, I definitely like the black splash because I'm obsessed, obviously. She's a <laughs> designer, about... aren't you? And I think our buyer is very happy. All right. Talk about it. If you have any questions, give us a call. All right, okay. Great. Thank, guys, you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. After only a week on the market, we received an offer above the listing price at $607,000. So after all expenses and closing costs, we'll walk away from this house with 50 grand. Time to find another house to flip.